Welcome to this fourth video in the aim tree video tutorial series. In this video we'll be exploring how to add aiming support to your character using an anim node aim offset. This node seems to have caused a lot of people problems and confusion. The main thing that you need to know is that for any first person or third person game all the code to update the aim node is handled natively. That means that all you need to do is set up your tree, basic code references and profiles correctly. There's actually minimal code work involved with, get, with getting this working. Now if you're working on a 2.5D game or some other kind of game which isn't first or third person, there may be additional programming required for the aim node to work properly. Because this is an animation tree tutorial series, we won't be covering the programming aspect, but basically underneath in the native code, all the aim node does is update its own aim uh, using a bit of basic maths to get values between 1 and 0 for maximum uh, yaw and pitch of the player controller. So they're the only things that you need to really explore for getting this to work properly for any other kind of game. So what we'll do is go ahead and open up our anim tree and we'll add an anim node aim offset. Link that up to our fizz walking. Now you can see we have this little black box here which when we drag around will actually update the aim of the character in the preview window here and because we've got no profile set up we can't actually see that yet and we'll also just scroll down and rename this to aim node so before we go ahead and actually add anything to this node we'll discuss quickly how this node works uh, the node stores a bunch of profiles one for each weapon per se um, which have the poses for each direction that we want the character to aim in there are nine directions which you'll see in a moment these poses can either be set manually through the aim offset editor or they can be baked from a set of animations. Each of these profiles is activated via code, generally when you switch weapons. We'll explore how to do this later on in the tutorial. So we'll go ahead and double click on aim node and you'll see here that we have the aim offset editor opened up. This is the screen where we add our profiles, the bones that we want to be affected for each aim direction. And if we're manually posing our character, this is the screen that we use to do it. So we'll go ahead and create a new profile called Unarmed. Now the first thing that you should know as well is you can save and open aiming profiles. Uh, this is very useful because, again, occasionally it's one of those nodes that can kind of play up a little bit at times. So on the situation where you need to delete your current node, so you don't have to recreate your profiles, re the bones, you can just save them out. So hit the save button here and defaults to whichever location you want. I'll just save it there and you can just reopen and import them. So what we'll do is we have our nine aim directions here. I'll select center up which is looking straight up. And on the right hand side here we'll click add bone and for now I just want to affect the spine bones and the clavicle bones. So if you are doing it from animation which will cover uh, later on in the tutorial, you will need to do this for the uh, the bones that you want to affect by the animation. Now for the manual posing, all we do is select the bone that we want to affect and using the rotation widget here in the world, we just bend them around however we want. I'm going to make a, a pretty extreme pose just to sort of demonstrate exactly how this node works. Obviously you're not going to have a pose that looks like this in real life and I'll go ahead and select center down as well and just quickly pose these and we'll go back to center center as our default one and again you should just be uh, saving this now now you've added a few profiles I'm not going to add any of the others uh, just for the purpose of this demonstration I'm only going to add up and down but uh, obviously left up and right up are looking in a diagonal direction, left and right, upwards. We got left down and right down, which are the same, but downwards. And left center and right center is as the player is turning without their uh, body actually rotating. So if we close this, and then you can see as we adjust our aim node, we get our aiming upwards, aiming downwards all going here. And you can see that here in our profiles list, we have a new profile called unarmed. Now you can see here we have uh, a bunch of uh, field options for anim names as well. 
If you're baking your aim from animations, all you need to do is create a new profile, set up the bones you want to have affected, and add the names of the animations to bake them in from here, obviously left up, left center, left down, etc, etc. Um, and then once you add those in there, you just hit this button, bake from animations. Now you can't blend uh, a mix of, you know, animations and offsets. You either use all manually posed offsets or you use all animations for your character. The other thing is that if you're using um, manual posing and you hit bake from animations and then uncheck it, sometimes the node won't actually work again. So you will have to delete it, re-add it, re-import your profiles. So just make sure you don't hit that, that bake from animations button by accident. So my pawn class is derived from UT pawn, which means all the defaults are set up. I shouldn't have to do anything else in order for this to be active. So I'll go ahead and save it. And I'll quickly jump in game and aim downwards. As you can see, my arms are pointing down. I've got my body there like we had it set up. And if I aim upwards, you can see the kind of Hail Mary pose that we've got going on there with our arms. You can see they're sort of aiming upwards a little bit. So that's our basic aiming done. Obviously, it's really bad and my, my camera's glitchy and there's no left and right and, and all that kind of thing. Um, but that's the basics of it working. That's really all there is animation tree wise to actually setting up your aim node. What I'm going to do now is explain the code that's involved to make all this work correctly. I've got my uh, utporn.uc uh, file open here and you'll see that we have uh, just a couple of important lines of code here. This one here, this aim node equals aim node offset mesh.find anim node aim node. Uh, what this is, is this looks up a node, uh, an anim node aim offset uh, from the animation tree called aim node, which is why we renamed our node initially. Uh, this is done in the function post in an anim tree. Um, now this this variable aim node is actually re um, uh, referenced in, well, created, what do you want to use, declared uh, in the UDK pawn class, which means that you don't need to declare it yourself. If you're deriving your uh, pawn class from UDK pawn, all you need to do is add in this line of code and the aim node reference is set up for the engine to handle. The other function here is set active profile by name. Now this is the line of code that actually changes our active profiles. If you remember we have, if I open this back up here, the generic browser, in our node here we do have these profiles. This one here, our unarmed is index 0 and profile name unarmed. Um, so if we actually have a look here, um, set active profile by name and there also is a function called set active profile by index, I'm pretty sure it is. So you can set it to, obviously I'd have mine set to unarmed by default, um, but because I don't have a weapon equipped, it just sets it to the uh, zero, index zero. So for a node that's caused so many people so many headaches, that's actually all that's involved in getting it set up to work. I haven't done anything special with this animation tree or my code before I filmed this tutorial. I just did a test uh, with my own steps to make sure that it worked. So if you follow these steps, you should have your own aiming working correctly in-game as well. So good luck. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I hope you tune in for the next ones. Cheers.